Dirt Connections, right here, right now. Good morning, my neighbors. So it's Friday morning. I planned and planned and studied and studied to do what I got to do today. So I had to uh, tighten up and install the new inline filter. Did that. Topped off the hydraulic fluid. And it took like two and a half gallons, man. I don't even know where that stuff went. Then I loosened my track. I couldn't get the track off I'm by myself. So, oh, it came to me. I got to pull the sprocket anyway, so I'm going to pull the sprocket. I got the bolts to come loose with my new handy-dandy impact wrench from DeWalt. Did a good job. I tapped these threads in here because I wanted to make sure that they didn't get stripped. So I tapped them, cleaned them out, right? Uh, did the brake clean, and now I put some more WD-40 on it. Now I'm going to put the impact wrench on it and see if we can't pop that hub. It's got to come off anyway, and then that'll hopefully allow me to get the track out of position so I can work back there, inspect, see what's up. So exciting. I'm pumped. I also did myself a favor. I studied on YouTube, a lot of experts. I made a little list of what I got to do so I can stay on track. And I don't care if this takes me four days. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to get upset at all. Great learning lesson. Reporting back soon. Thanks. Okay, look at the difference in the sprocket. Mine is wore out. I counted the little nubs, 17 each. So I'm pretty confident that's the right one, but huge difference. The other side isn't as bad. That thing cost 450 bucks. And it all started because I think there's a leak over there on the final drive. So I'm breaking it down, I'm gonna see if there's a leak there. Hopefully, whatever it is, I can deal with it. Final drive, I'm by myself, working hard, being tough. And I'm also going to change out the gear oil. So I got that. So gear oil, sprocket, see if there's a leak. Final drive gone, replace final drive. If the final drive isn't leaking, then maybe it's one of the O-rings. Fix that. Have a nice day. Put it back together with the new sprocket and new gear oil. And then on the other side, I'll break that one down, put in gear oil, maybe a new sprocket, do inspection, button it up, and we're good to go. Okay. All right. Little break. Anyway, that was tough pulling that track off by myself. And I don't think I want to pull it much more. I want to keep it around there. So it'll make it easier for me to put it back on. But I think I'm going to need some help. But let me do all this busy work. I don't need someone standing around here looking at me while I pay him. Thanks. It started to rain on me, but I did a lot of work. I'm going to leave this stuff here. Nobody's going to steal this stuff. Cameras are here. I pulled the sprocket. That was pretty easy. Cleaned up the final drive. Pulled the track. That was hard. Cleaned up all around the final drive. I probably put about three gallons of hydraulic fluid in that thing. And it's leaking somewhere, but I don't know where. So I called Bobcat of Northern Virginia. I want them to come out and look. You know. I'm going to spin that thing and see if it's bad. Get some advice from a tech that knows more than me. I did a lot of labor here. So at least I got it broke down for him. That saves me money. Sweat equity, right? But uh, I don't know where it's leaking, man. So we'll see. So uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be back out here with... Uh, a uh, factory trained rep. Now we we'll spend about a thousand bucks with him. See what he says. Maybe it's not the final drive. Who knows? As for now, I'm going to enjoy this perfect day. 
go take a shower it's not even Saturday I'm trash dirty and uh, take a chill pill did all I can I'm no slacker enjoy this perfect day folks Dirt Connections is right here right now Dirt Connections the professionals Thank <laughs> you.